Hello everyone, Jeff and Jay here with Jay's Big Adventure, and today we are going to attempt to change our own rear tire. I got these used for a song, so I thought I would try to uh, change them myself. Then we're going to come over here and balance it. I got this balancing apparatus from a guy named Mark Parnes, markparnes.com, and this is an aluminum shaft with super, super low friction bearings. The only weight on these things are these two little thumb screws. It should make balancing the tire really easy. Bought some tire irons, an adapter for this particular bike, and some weights. I'm gonna take the tire off and see how it goes. First thing we need to do is to remove this saddlebag. We're gonna turn our key and remove the bag. Because the clearance between the tire and the muffler is so tight, we're going to loosen these two bolts here and allow that muffler to, to come out a little bit and make it easier to get that tire out of there. So we're going to loosen these two bolts and then loosen the five lug nuts. We should be good to go. the air is out of the tire, the hard part is breaking the tire off the bead, especially on a, a thick tire. And this is a GT tire, so it's got a stronger sidewall than most sport bike tires. So to help, I made this little wooden contraption based on a video that I saw on YouTube. It's just a length of 2x4. I've got a base on here so it won't rock on me. I'm gonna lube the rim up, and then I'm gonna stand on this, and hopefully that will help break the bead loose. Did not get that bead to come loose to save our soul, so I changed the wood around to use just the narrow end, because that'll apply more pressure on the bead, and that still wouldn't come loose. So we are off to the hardware store to try to find another solution. Now, two hours later, I have finally broken the bead. I went back to this setup with the little piece at the end of my long lever for the support. I got these two urban clamps and finally, finally I've gotten the bead broken. Now I'll just work my way around the rest of the tire. Then we get to do the whole thing again on the other side. After much fighting and consternation, we finally have the bead broken. What I ended up doing is just attaching one of the tire irons to my two by four. And then sliding it up under the edge of the rim. The problem is it would get down here and then it wouldn't have enough grip. It'd just slide off. So I had to get it up in under the rim and then, when you step on it, it finally got enough pressure to get the bead broken. Now I just have to lever the tire off and put the new one on. There we go. Age reads 42. But I'm going to check it with my good pressure gauge just to see, uh, just to make sure that they match. Right at 40. I've installed our handy little Mark Parnes adapter, so now I've got a half inch shaft hole and the two little uh, Set screws just make sure that it is held completely flush so the wheel will run true. Now I'm going to mount it on the shaft and put it on the jack stands and uh, we'll see how it does. Down at the top. And if I let it go, it just rolls back and forth until the heaviest part is down. When that's down, I'll put some weight on the 
top part of the rim and we'll try it again. Now it's time to remount the tire and go for a test drive. Okay, so let's put all this in perspective. I spent almost $200 on the balancer and the jack stands and the clamps and the wood and a whole bunch of other stuff and it took me six and a half hours to get that darn tire changed. Total cost to have it changed by a professional shop is 25 bucks. The next time I hear anybody complain about what it costs to have a tire changed at a tire shop, I'm gonna have Jay smack them.